you are. I've been looking for you. There's a bunch of us that have a bunch of things that we would like to tell you. And I guess I would like to take the opportunity to start. Um, I've had lots of time to think about what I want to say, but never good at saying it exactly. Um, I think most importantly, you know, I wanted to let you know how much of an influence and in a positive way you've been for so many of us. Um, you know, I think there are very few people that truly inspire you in your life, um, or at least in mine, and I can, I can definitely say that you've been one uh, of those type of people, uh, you know, that I aspire to be like. Uh, and not just from an academic or clinical standpoint, I think that, you know, your legacy in that respect will never end. Um, but I think for me, the most important is just the influence you've had showing that you can do all of that and be a family man, be a devoted husband, be a doting grandfather and father to your children. And I hope that you take the time that you have now to really spend with them and enjoy the time that, that is well deserved. For you I heard you're retiring you know what that made me start thinking about that's what I was looking for you is I was thinking back to when I was a resident here did you ever know I was so scared of you your dramatic manner and the breadth of knowledge and you were always harping on my lack of self-confidence I would even go so far if we had to go from here to the OR to walk on the first floor link so I didn't have to talk to you that whole quarter mile because I would always be so nervous well now, 10 years later, it's totally different. I have learned the lessons you taught me and I use them every day. The two things I always think about, be frank with the patient and never let them talk you into doing something that you didn't want to do. You know best. These days, I'd be delighted to walk through the link with you. Best wishes. Oh, hi, Bill. I didn't see you there. Hi, Bill. I heard you were tying, so Courtney and I wanted to share one of our favorite moments with you. It was when we sat down with Mary and Doug Ricciardello in Houston, and they told us some of your wild stories from Houston. Uh, don't worry, your secrets are safe with us. But it was, it took a moment of you being this urology giant to a very real uh, human being, and I'm just very thankful for that moment. Uh, we want to say thank you from our family, uh, just for all you've done for us, and uh, just for treating us like your family. We love you guys. We love you so much. Huh. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Uh, I heard you're going to retire, and uh, I want to wish you luck. I, I still remember the uh, first time I met you, when uh, you probably don't remember, but it was one of these sectional meetings, I think, at one of the West Virginia resorts, and you gave a lecture on alpha blockers. and. At that time, I think you'd been chair maybe a year or two, and uh, I went to that meeting for another reason, to secure a fellowship in pediatric urology, but when I left, I said, I want to work for that guy one day. So, be it as it may, four years ago, the position opened up, and uh, you didn't know how bad I wanted to come here, but, but I did really bad, and uh, you were great. You had my in-laws up, and uh, we had a great, uh, time eating cheese and drinking wine and uh, I couldn't be happier so good luck in your retirement and I uh, hope you do some fun things besides epic and I'll be doing epic for you take care hi Bill um, I'm not busy now it's a good time I hear you're retiring Thinking back through, do you remember before you were chairman, when you first came here, the first couple years when you and I had gone to the AUAs together? You came up with this fun idea to, for you and I just to go out to dinner together, try some wine. That was fun. Thank you for those memories. Thanks for thinking of it. Thank you for inviting me. That was good. I'll be seeing you around. Take care. Oh, Bill, how are you? I heard you're retiring. Well, I wanted to tell you that it really was an honor and a privilege of having you as my chairman for a number of years. And I really enjoyed our conversations, both scientific and non-scientific. I also would really like to thank you for uh, having faith in me as a young scientist just starting. And also thank you for really being an intellectual and out-of-the-box thinker. This is uh, particularly 
evident by crowdsourcing for research as well as our Facebook page, which I really enjoyed working on. Uh, well, I'd like to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thanks, Bill. Uh, hey, Bill. Was expecting to see you here. A uh, few things I wanted to tell you. Uh, you left so quickly, you know. Uh, I just want to tell you I miss these uh, discussions we'd have about Epic and how enjoyable it was for you and, uh, you know, badgering you about account reconciliations. Uh, almost, it seemed like weekly and effort reports. I know how much you enjoyed all that stuff, but all kidding aside, uh, you, you hired me back in 99 and uh, meant a lot to me. I had uh, met you before you were uh, chair of the finance committee at UPG and you were the only person there asking really intelligent questions that actually had to do with the finances and you, you were able to see through all of the smoke and mirrors and get down to the crux of the matter and I knew I could work for a guy like that. So uh, I appreciate the opportunity you've given me, uh, having my career grow over the years, uh, sharing me with some other departments and all the uh, innovative stuff you did uh, from uh, shared medical appointments to men's four miler, it's, it's been a blast and uh, I just wish you the best as you, uh, as you uh, take some time for yourself. Take care. Hey, hey Bill, how, how are you? Uh, I was, uh, it's funny, I was just thinking about uh, how much we uh, share with intellectual curiosity and uh, just always amazed at the breadth of your your fascination with different uh, things whether it's a a wine that I couldn't possibly tell you about or some city that you've been to that I've been to that you'd already been to but uh, I was remembering this book that I had recommended to you a couple years ago uh, Daniel Kahneman uh, Thinking Fast or Slow and uh, your comments were oh yeah read it Nobel laureate, Israeli born, Professor Berkeley, Princeton. I'm sure that if I had pressed you harder, you could have probably given me the publisher and the Library of Congress number too. Well, anyway, good seeing you. See you later. Hey Bill, how are you? I hear you're retiring and I'm very glad. Did you know that I was your first recruit to the Department of Urology? And I've been here for 20 years. I've been happy with my practice every day. And I'm so glad and so delighted and so thankful that you recruited me. Oh, hey, Bill. How's it going? I just got the news that you're retiring. I'm very excited for you. I want to miss you because you're one of the uh, father figures in urology for me. Is you were my first chairman and you took me under your wing. And yeah, I mean, it's going to be different with you not here, but you know, I'll always value your level of commitment. And that's the one thing. You always persevered and were committed to the things you believed in. And that's very important for me. In fact, you know, I'm looking forward to the spring because that's the usual time that uh, the men's four miler comes up. And there's only two things on I. Highway 250 that I've always fear of hitting. And that's deer and Dr. Steers. Because every time Men's Four Mile comes around, I see you out there in the middle of the road, wondering who is this guy in the middle of the road, almost getting hit by a car. But you were training for it every year to be the best. But we'll miss you. Tired to follow in the footsteps of really great ones. I learned that in the military. Look back at history. Pickett, Lee, McClellan, Grant, Montgomery, Patton, Eisenhower, all the greats. Very easy to walk in the footsteps of greatness. And I want to thank you for letting me do what I can for the department. It's clearly I'm walking in the footsteps of great ones like yourself. 20 years you've done wonderful, wonderful things. Training great residents, forming fabulous new research in urology, building institutes of greatness in urology here at the university. So it's again an honor for me to do what I can to try and walk in your footsteps.